theorem. Linear transformation given by a matrix. So now that we learn about matrices, matrix operations, we're interested in knowing is there any connection between matrices and linear transformation? How they connect different vector spaces for us? Suppose A is an M by N matrix. Then the function T defined by T of V equals to AV means that it takes vectors from the very first vector space and then multiply them by matrix A is a linear transformation from Rn, which is your V, to Rm, which is your W. So this linear transformation maps V, which is N space, to W, which is M space. Indeed, it is a linear transformation. We went over one example for you and showed you if you have a random matrix, a three by two matrix in previous slide, it indeed is a linear transformation. The proof should be very easy for you. You can just take a matrix, M by N matrix, with general entry and verify that T of U plus V is equal to T of U plus T of V and T of CU, which is your scalar multiplication becomes C of TU. Again, take a look at the previous example that we did in class to get some idea how to write the proof. Consider the following linear transformation from Rn to Rm, from n space to m space. This linear transformation takes vector V and then multiply them by matrix A. You have a three by three matrix. The size of this matrix is three by three. A times V is three by three matrix multiplied by vector in the space and it gives you another vector in the space as well. It defines a linear transformation from the space to the space. So when you're talking about Rn and Rm, n is three, m is also three. Now let us make it more interesting. Consider the following linear transformation from Rn or your V to W. This is a three by two matrix. The size of this matrix is three by two. What's the meaning of that? It means that it maps the plane to the space. So you need to switch these numbers if it's easier for you to remember. It is a three by two matrix, but it maps the plane into the space. So three by two maps R2 to R3. Basically, it takes points, vectors in the plane and it maps them to the space. This is one of the useful methods in machine learning. It creates a decision surface for you. It helps you to separate points. So at the beginning of the lecture, we talked about linear transformation and how they are useful in machine learning and deep learning. This is basically one of them. This linear transformation maps the plane into the space. And this is just a simple matrix. Next linear transformation, which is very interesting, is a linear transformation that maps plane to plane. And it basically takes some vectors 
And as you can see, it starts rotating down. Matrix A is defined by cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, and cosine theta. It rotates every vector counterclockwise about the origin. So on the exam, if I ask you to identify a matrix, or basically if I ask you to identify a linear transformation, the matrix is representative of the linear transformation that rotates vectors in the plane counterclockwise about the origin, you can use this matrix. We're going to use polar coordinates that you learned in calculus. Suppose vector V in the plane is denoted by X and Y. Well, X can be written as R cosine alpha, and Y can be written as R sine alpha. R is the length of vector V, and alpha is the angle from the positive X axis to the vector. So this is your angle alpha. Let's apply this matrix, which is representative of the linear transformation. TV, which is defined as A times V. A is your two by two matrix, cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta, and V is vector X and Y in the plane. This is your vector here. It becomes cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta, and your vector in polar coordinate form is r cosine theta, this is basically your x, and your y is r sine alpha. Well, the rest is just matrix multiplication. The first row times the first column and so on. This is R cosine theta times cosine alpha minus R sine theta sine alpha. And then you move on to the second row and multiply it by this column. You only have one column, which becomes R sine theta cosine alpha plus R cosine theta and sine alpha. Going back to pre-calculus, if you factor out R and Combine cosine theta cosine alpha minus sine theta sine alpha. It is the definition of cosine of summation of two angles theta plus alpha. And the second row, you have R sine theta cosine alpha plus cosine theta sine alpha, which is basically the summation formula. Summation of angles theta plus alpha and the function is sine. So you have the expanded form. You can write it in compact form. Again, this is just pre-calculus, everyone. So as you can see, this transformation, this linear transformation, takes every vector and rotate it theta counterclockwise. We have more interesting transformations as well. Again, transformations and their matrices, they are equivalent to each other. For example, if you have just this shape in the plane and use identity transformation or identity function or identity matrix, you get the exact same shape back. So this object under the identity linear transformation is the same object. What else do we have? If I have a linear transformation given by the matrix negative 1, 0, 0, 1, it gives you reflection with respect to y-axis. 
So this object is located in the first quadrant under this linear transformation, it maps to the second quadrant. You can tilt objects a little bit as well. So as you can see here, you have a rotation pi over four, the linear transformation, cosine pi over four, negative sine pi over four, sine pi over four, and cosine pi over four gives you a little bit of rotation. Here we go. So this is your original object. Now the object is rotated a little bit. Next one. If you consider the linear transformation, one, zero, zero, and negative one, as you can see here now, you have reflection with respect to x-axis. <coughs> These are interesting transformations that I want you to see. Otherwise, in, uh, in other format, you can define many, many, many transformation, interesting ones. For example, if you look at this object under the linear transformation that is given by the matrix one point three zero and one, we get this object back. 